In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Curb Appeal theme. The first thing we want to do is install the theme. Uh, if you have an existing WordPress site, your site will ha uh, have your old theme there. Um, if it's a new site, you should have a default WordPress install before you can install the theme. So this is the default WordPress install. Uh, it's using the 2015 uh, WordPress default theme. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in and go to the back end of the site, the dashboard. So I'm going to change tabs over to the dashboard. Okay. Uh, now you should have uh, downloaded the Curb Appeal zip file and the Equity zip file uh, from the links that you received in your email when you ordered them. Uh, if not, you can go to my account at agentevolution.com. Here at Agent Evolution, just click on my account. And under my account, you'll have those downloads. There's Equity and there's Curb Appeal. You just click on those and download those to your desktop. So once you have those downloaded, let's go back to the dashboard of our site. And we will go to our dashboard menus. If you're new to WordPress, your menus are on the left-hand side. Just go to Appearance. And under Appearance, select Themes. Now we want to add new. Okay, now you need to upload that theme from your computer desktop. And you need to start with Equity. Equity has to be installed before you can install the Curb Appeal theme. So we're going to click Upload Theme. Choose File. And I'm going to pick this out of my desktop here. And let's select Equity and click Install Now. Okay, Equity is now installed. Now you don't need to activate it or anything, it just has to be installed first. So let's go back to that Themes page again. And now we're going to do Add New again. And this time we're going to upload Curb Appeal. install now. Okay, now once that's uploaded you want to activate Curb Appeal. And there we go, you'll see Curb Appeal has now been installed and activated. Now if we go back to the front of our site, I'm going to change tabs back to the front, and now we're going to refresh. You'll see now we have the theme installed. Uh, the home page is the default because we haven't uh, configured that yet with widgets and menus and that will be in a later video. But we do have the theme installed. Let's go back to the dashboard. Um, a lot of our clients find that it helps if they have some sample content to work with to get started. So we're going to do that. Uh, these files are included inside that Curb Appeal zip file. You need to extract that file on your desktop and inside that folder is a folder that says XML. So let me find that. And there's a folder that says XML. And we've got some XML files in there. One is for the basic content for post pages and menus. Another one is for listings for the WP listings menu. And we got some Wii files, which are widget files. We're going to start with the basic content. Okay, so let's go to our dashboard, to the Tools menu, and under Tools, we're going to select Import. And then under Import, we want to select WordPress, because these are WordPress files. Okay, now if you don't have the WordPress importer plugin installed yet, you'll get this pop up to install it. So we're going to install it. Okay, now it's uploaded. We want to activate it and run it. All right, so it's now activated. Now we just need to choose that XML file from that extracted folder, those Curb Appeal folders. Let's choose that file. Curb Appeal, XML, and we want to do the basic content first. Okay, 
then click the button to upload the file and import. Okay, now the import author is Agent Evo, but we want to assign this to our WordPress site um, user, which is John Smith. So we're going to select John Smith so that all those posts and pages get assigned to John. Now below that, under Import Attachments, there's a checkbox to download and import file attachments. You want to be sure and check that because these are the images that are attached to those posts and pages. So once we check that, we're going to click the Submit button. Okay, now all of our posts and pages have been imported. So if we go to Post, All Post, you'll see we now have all those posts imported. And the same with Pages. Go to All Pages, you'll see we have all those pages that are on the demo imported as well. Um, if we go to Appearance Menus, you'll see those menus have been imported. And let's go ahead, we have a, a, a theme location for the main menu, so we want to select that main menu. And let's go ahead and assign it to the main menu location here under Appearance Menus. Now if we go back to the front of our site and refresh, you'll see that now we have the, uh, the menus installed. Okay, let's reduce the size of this a little bit. So that this is how it should look on a full screen. We have our menus. Um, we have those posts and pages installed, but you'll see now that the home page isn't fleshed out. Uh, we also have widget files that we're going to do a little bit later. But first, before we do that, uh, we're going to set up this site without an IDX. So we're going to be using the WP Listings plugin, uh, and we have an import file for those listings to get you started with that as well. So we're going to do that next. The first thing you have to do to do that, though, is you have to go to Plugins, Add New, and you have to install that WP Listings plugin. Okay, and there it is. Let's install that. Now let's activate that plugin. Okay, we've got the plugin installed, and you'll see we have a new menu item called Listings, but there's nothing in there. So we're going to import that Listings file now, which is also in your Curb Appeal zip file. So we go back to Tools, Import, back to WordPress. Now we're going to choose that listings file and it's called Curb Appeal Listings XML and we're going to do the same thing we did with the basic content. We're going to upload file and import. We're going to assign them to John Smith and we're going to check this box to download and import the file attachments and let's submit that. Okay, those have been imported. Uh, you'll see I got some failure to import bedrooms and bathrooms, and that's because that taxonomy has not been set up and is not set up by default on listings, but you can create those. If you go to listings, register taxonomies, you can add bedrooms and bathrooms here, uh, just like the ones that come with it. So once you get those set up and then import your listings, you'll be able to get those bedrooms and bathrooms, or you can add them after the fact. If we go to listings, you'll see now that these are here. And you can set up those bedrooms and bathrooms. Okay, so that takes care of the post, pages, menus, and listings. Now we want to in install the widgets so we can get our home page all fleshed out. Uh, like I said, we're not going to set this up with IDX. Uh, however, there is an IDX broker widgets file. You'll see um, it says Curb Appeal IDX Broker Widgets WIE. If we're going to use IDX Broker, you should import that one instead. For this video, we're going to be using the WP Listings widget so we can flesh out our site with those listings. Now, before we can import that, we have to install the Widget Importer Exporter plugin. So, again, we're going to go to Plugins, Add New. We want to search for Widget Importer Exporter. 
and there it is it's the one that's got the image that looks like a shipping container we're going to install that we're going to activate it okay now we're going to go back to tools again and you'll see we have a new thing here that says widget importer and exporter we're going to select that and under import widgets we're going to choose that file there we go it's the curb appeal WP listings widgets and we're going to click the blue button to import the widgets uh, there we go you'll see all of our widgets have been imported into the home page the footer so let's go back to the front of our site now that we've imported these widgets and let's refresh there we go we've got our search we've got our call to action we've got the featured properties all these widgets have now been pulled in and this is a good place to start if you're due to it um, this way you can once you've got these set up then you can go in and change them and edit them the way you like it for these different widget areas now the last thing you need to do when you install the uh, theme is you need to put in your equity API key and you go to equity to license uh, let me enlarge this back again okay now in your email that you received when you purchased equity it will have the API license key or the API API license email uh, if you didn't get that email you can go to my account and they will be here under API keys and you just copy them from there and paste them uh, under equity license and save those changes this will make you eligible for one year of updates and support for the, uh, the equity uh, and this is how you get started with the curb appeal theme